What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter from Panda here. You know I love tools on my channel. And this and Steaker tire inflator is something I wanted to check out. You know, I have to inflate a lot of stuff these days from that awesome inflatable tent by Moose Outdoors to the tires on my lawnmower, which are always flat every time I fire it up in the spring, to my cars because I get to use them with uh, different, you know, frequency. And <clears throat> tire inflators are great. And not only are they great, but um, I like having them in different places. So whether it's on my workbench or on my uh, work board or in the trunk of my car. And that kind of means I have some needs for various tire inflators. And a couple of requirements I have for them are they have to work and then they have to be pretty portable because I don't want a huge tire inflator taking up the trunk of my car because you just aren't gonna use it that often, but you, you will use them when you're pumping up tires or going out to the beach and pumping up inflatables, the whole nine yards. Now, I wanted to check this one out because this one looked a little different, it looked kind of high tech to me. It's got this kind of velour-like drawstring bag, and as you can see here, not that big. Uh, about the size of, I don't know, a, um, a small pot here, right? So I'm just gonna pull this sucker out, and what we have here is an uh, instruction booklet for this LD1618D, and should have all your user information in there. And what we have here is Man, the design looks cool. It's very modern, and it kind of reminds me of like those night vision goggles in Jurassic Park because of the lights that we have on the front. Or Jenny 5! So, pretty cool. It looks like we have an LCD up here on the top where we can add or lower the target pressure and then a mode button, potentially. A flashlight button here, obviously, it looks like to me. And then a power button for the whole unit. Black and red plastic. And then on the bottom, we have looks like four feet that are with a rubber pad on them. We also have a couple of uh, needle adapter and then an inflatable adapter, the little cone, and looks like they just fit inside each other and then snap in here on the bottom. Now, you often don't need these because the hose, which here is here on the back and you just winds up and then you pull it out here, has one of these types of attachments which you can just put on to most uh, Schrader valves and so you just put it on there's a little rubber seal in there and then you push this down and that will squeeze that against the valve itself now what I also want to show you here is as, as I pull this out we have the hose which looks like it ends up going about oh I did say about 18 inches but you might have been able to see in there that it looks like there is the power cord too let's see if we can get that out for you And so it's all wrapped up. My chubby fingers are not the, the best uh, for pulling that out. Okay, there we go. That's part of it. All right, there we go. There we go. Because it's bound up here and wired up and twist tied together, it's hard to get out. But once you're just kind of stuff sack it back in there, uh, you should have no problems. Now, I will tell you here on the power cord, man, we've got a lot of cordage. So... I don't think it's going to be a problem to plug this into your uh, power outlet in your car, a little LED light there, and then be able to get to all four tires uh, or more with this much cordage on it. Okay, so now the next thing we have to do is take it outside, plug it in, and see if it'll pump air. Alright, so I've got the air compressor plugged into my Fiat here, and as you can see, we have a backlit LCD on the front, and it's showing 35 PSI is where it's set to. now. What you can do is just adjust that target PSI with these buttons here. And so you can raise it or lower it. So whether you're filling up a car tire or a bicycle tire, theoretically you could get that PSI right where you want it. Now I also want to show you some of the other buttons here is that we have this button. And as you can see, man, we've got a couple dual bright lights on the, the back there in white. We also have the red flashing lights, which is going to be awesome for signaling for help or alerting that you're a car on the side of the road and don't hit me and then we have uh oh sos red flashing and then off so white uh slow red strobe and then sos red so we've got that too and now if i hit this button that's going to turn on the pump here and what it's saying too is when i turn that on looks like this little tire tread here fills up to show the pressure that we're building. So I'm gonna try this on my Poulon Pro lawnmower here because I have a flat tire. Even though my car's over there, so you can see here, we have plenty of cableage. 
to get there. Now I'm just going to go ahead and uh, turn this on. Now what I've done here is I've actually changed the pressure down to 15 because I just figured out that lawnmower tires shouldn't get uh, the kind of tire pressure that car tires should have. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn it on. And look, it stopped because it hit 15. I didn't do anything. See? Nothing on my sleeve. So uh, that's awesome. So it'll stop right there. Now I'm going to just turn it off and then unhook it. And now I can tell you, man, I have a healthfully inflated tire right there. So whether you need to fill up the tires on your Poulon Pro Northwestern Wildcast lawnmower, on your car, on your prowler, what have you, uh, you definitely want to check out one of these air compressors. Certainly an awesome small package to put in your trunk or at your house. I wouldn't leave home without it. Check it out. I'll put a link to it in the description. Peter Von Panda, out.